All right, Pez fans, thanks for tuning in. Always a pleasure to have you here on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the 100% Hypercraft glasses. Ready? So the Hypercraft is the newest set of eyewear from 100%. These guys you will know because they are favored by Peter Sagan. He's been wearing these for the last couple of years. Uh, perhaps, but something you didn't know about 100% is that it's actually originally a motocross goggle company. They've been around for more or less about 25 years, but there was a bit of a dormant period, I think, where they weren't actually producing much. We've seen them reemerge in the last couple of years and making a splash. They've got some really cool designs. And you know, when it comes to eyewear, let's face it, everybody likes something new and fresh and stylish. So there's always room for someone else in the very crowded eyewear market, wouldn't you say? But first of all, let's take a closer look at what we've got. So here is the packaging, all right? They arrive in this very sturdy, very cool looking box, which like most of the eyewear guys these days is really big. It's oversized. It's not gonna be traveling compact anywhere. For sure is gonna hold your glasses and protect them from getting squished, smashed, scratched, and all that other stuff. So let's open this up. And while these things look cool, these zippers always seem to be a little bit tricky to operate. All right, ready for the big reveal? So inside, we've got a little piece of literature. It also comes with a nice soft sleeve. You can put the glasses inside and this will double as a lens cleaner as well, which is kind of nice. So that's good to have. And then on to the good stuff. So this particular set, they've got several different versions of the Hypercraft available that come in different colors, different frame colors and different lens color combos. This one that I received comes with two lenses. It has this amber colored lens, which is great for cloudy days, a lot like today. And also there is a second lens, which is absolutely clear, great for dark days or rainy days. One thing I think is glaringly absent from this is a dark lens. Uh, personally, I just think every uh, eyewear manufacturer should be shipping their glasses with three lenses as standard issue. You should not be charged extra for extra lenses. It should just be part of the package. But nevertheless, you can buy a dark lens for these or you can order a different frame color which will come with a dark lens. It also came with an extra nose piece inside. Looks like that. So here's the frame. Now these things are touted as being super light and super strong. If you're a fan of gear that Peter Sagan wears, you might think these are super cool as well. They are designed in California, handcrafted in Italy with French optics. Right here on the inside of the frame, you can also see the name of this style. It's Hypercraft. These are a streamlined laser cut rimless shield. There's no visible framework that runs around the top of the lens. Hence, they are called frameless. What this essentially does is makes for a really light pair of glasses. Now, let's face it, most pieces of eyewear that we are wearing today are already pretty darn light. Have you ever complained to yourself that the glasses you're wearing are just too heavy? But nevertheless, this is an area for improvement. According to the guys at 100%, these things are light. They are claiming that this entire thing weighs 23 grams. I can tell you when I put it on, I could barely tell I was wearing anything and holding them in my hands, they do feel super light. The lens itself is hydrophobic and oleophobic, which means it's coated with a couple of things that force water to beat up and run off. And it also resists the stickiness of oils and sweat. So when you're sweating, this lens is supposed to not attract and not have sticky, sweaty gunk hang on to it like, well, like other lenses do. The lens also comes with a scratch resistant coating on it. I've only had these for a short amount of time. I have not run into a situation where I have scratched them or even uh, been close to scratching them or shielding your eyes from UVA, UVB, and UV 400 wavelengths. So that's a good thing. Let's move on to the nose gripper. It's a super soft rubber 
Really grippy nose gripper. I like the way it held onto my face, kept the glasses in place. I didn't have any issues with glasses slippage. Originally, I thought the glasses were not adjustable around the nose piece. Then I remembered that second nose piece inside the case. I took it out, saw that it was actually a different size. So when I put it onto the glasses, it actually adjusted the fit of the glasses. For me, it fit a little bit better. The larger nose piece, the one I call nose piece number two here, actually set the glasses a little further away from my brow and a little bit higher up on my field of vision. The other thing they are really touting is that this is supposed to be a stronger framework than I guess other frames and that's because they're using something called ultra carbon technology. So essentially they have woven some kind of carbon fiber into the nylon on the arms here which makes them stronger than other arms. Now one thing I notice about these arms is they are not adjustable. They don't have any wire in them. You cannot adjust the fit on these arms in any way. For my head they actually fit fairly well. I didn't have any complaints. They did not impede my helmet anywhere or my straps. So they sat nicely on my head when I had them on the helmet. And I know the next thing you're gonna be asking me is, hey Pez, how do you change the lens on these glasses? It's not totally obvious, but it's kind of a cool design and it works pretty easily. At first I couldn't figure it out, but it didn't take me long. I realized you just have to snap the arm down off of the lens on both sides and it comes right off. Now this one was a little bit stickier. It's actually loosened up now as I've done it a few times and to put them back on really it's easy. You just put the tab on the lens into the slot on the arm and press down at the top like this over on this side and we are back in business framed up. One other thing you'll have to do when you're changing lenses is change out the nose piece. That's easy too took me another second to figure that one out but really just use your thumb and slip this tab at the top off the top of the lens kind of like you're rolling a tire off of the rim and then in on the inside just reach in and pull out the nose tab just like that now while I've got this nose piece in my hand it's an interesting thing about these glasses um, one of the things I like about them is that the nose gripper is soft and rubbery and sticks really well to my nose. That's great. The problem is this soft sticky rubber doesn't last super long. It's not the most durable product in the world. In fact, I've had a number of these things kind of melt down on me after a bunch of use and they become sticky and gummy and gross and you really don't want these things on your face. So wisely, the guys at 100% have added a second one of these into the case, which is nice. I hope that doesn't tell me that they're expecting this thing to wear out too soon. But nevertheless, it's nice to have a spare because it is going to wear out. And to change it, it just pops off the, really easily off these four little tabs on the nose piece. To replace it, we just fit the holes over the tabs, push it back in, and ta-da! Our nose piece is ready to go. It fits easily back into the lens. We line up the nose piece in the slots, push them in, and then just push this tab back over top of the lens like that. We're all set to go. All right, so one thing I will tell you is that my experience using these glasses, here's how they fit my head. I found them a little bit wider than other glasses I'm wearing. I did a, I've done a few rides with these things. One thing I noticed is that the larger lens coverage area keeps the wind out of my eyes more. So whereas some lens shapes, uh, if I'm descending or I'm going really fast, I will feel air coming in through the sides of these things. On this one, I felt that there was a lot of good protection. So my eyes were well shielded. I have not ridden these in humid or wet conditions, but there are these little cutouts in the lens here and here up in the top, which are designed to keep airflow going through the, through the lens and keep them from fogging up on you. The other thing I would say, they are really light and I do think the clarity of the lenses is very good. I can only comment on this smoky lens and the clear lens. I haven't tried the dark lenses yet. I would like to. The sharpness is actually improved. I can tell you that looking through this lens right now around here, I'm, things are definitely sharper. Like everything in cycling, all piece of gear and clothing, you got to try it on, see if it fits you, see how it works for you and see if it fits your body. So make up your own mind on that one. But that is my experience with these ones. So that's it for this. Thought it was going to be a quick review of the Hypercraft lens and glasses from 100%. 
you got any questions put them in the comments down below and you know like we always do on youtube as we ask you to please subscribe to this channel <laughs> or listen if you don't feel like subscribing if you've already subscribed to a million things <laughs> don't sweat it all right thanks for watching hope you're enjoying your riding keep the rubber side down